Hey guys, it's Paradise, and we have something pretty cool here today. And 26, you found this one, right? Yeah, definitely. I was browsing the internet last night, and because TGS is happening at that moment, we're not only getting the developer info, we're actually getting a ton of gameplay dropping from Japanese players over there. And this one comes from The Jump, and I was watching it. And I literally screamed when I saw a part of it because if you're a Sword and Shield player, you guys have been like, oh, there's no Sword and Shield gameplay out there. There's not that much <laughs> out there. No one's really talking about it. But finally, because somebody else has been able to play it, we can actually go through some of the stuff that we've seen and we know and look at this cool gameplay. And these Japanese players, because they've got the uh, the knowledge of all the stuff that's happened in like the last month, they actually kind of can do some stuff and mess around with it. So you get to see a lot of the focus strike attacks and the new stuff that you can do on the sword and shield. So it's a exciting one. And if you're a heavy bow gun player, it's there's stuff in there as well. So it's not just sword and shield. There's two of the weapons that have been left behind and forgotten supposedly by the community. So if you're a heavy bow gun player and a sword and shield player, you are uh, doing pretty well right now. But Paradise, you ready to get into it? I'm ready. Let's get into it because it's a bit of a, it'll be a bit of a shock for some people when they see that particular move that you are uh, you reference, which we will get to very soon because it was quite near the beginning as well. But we're kicking it off with my favourite, the cooking. <laughs> the cooking special. <laughs> and it really, it, they've done a really good job. I think it, I do think the cooking looks really good in this. To be fair, um, and I've said this every time cooking shown, so hopefully people will know by now. But it actually shows the ingredients that you pick to cook. So if you pick, if you picked mushrooms and lettuce or something you're going to see mushroom and lettuce. If you pick meat and prawns, you're going to see meat and prawns in the meal, which is just a nice touch. It adds that little bit of extra realism, you know? Yeah. Something to point out as well is that while I've just gassed this up as, like, good gameplay, it starts off so ropey, guys. So just bear with them as they warm up um, because you can see them kind of, like, testing out some stuff and going here and there. But you can see they're also wearing a mix set. So I think that's a Dushagama, like, uh, chest, then the kind of just basic uh, helmet and maybe the Balahara arms, and I'm not too sure what the the legs are. I don't know if you can uh, find out what's going on there. Yeah, I can't quite make it out, but it'll be what was ever, uh, you know, the, the sets. There was only like four sets available in the demo, like Hope, Chattacabra, Shagama, uh, Balahara. So it'll be pieces of those sets, which if you guys want to know the exact skills that are on those sets, we actually have a video on the channel where I've broken down and shown all the skills that have currently been basically revealed in the game and through the Gamescom demo and stuff like that. Uh, this is the same hunt, though. It's the alpha, like the Shagama. They're all in a pack. He's done the large dung pod, but they're all sleeping. <laughs> yeah, so he's not woken them up. He's, he's like woken them up in the most scuff way as well. Like I would have gotten so much damage. <laughs> You know what would have been cool to see there as well? Because he was sleeping, he could have tried a sneak attack to engage the fight, and he may have got the sleep multiplier on the sneak attack, which will be interesting to know if it compounds with the sleep yeah, modifier. So true. can you do a sneak, a sleep, a sneak, sleep attack? You know, <laughs> sneaky boy. <laughs> Well, there you got to see the dismount attack in here. You can see them just going in with the normal sword and shield combos. You've seen this. And obviously, the sword and shield has a lot of mobility. And you can see like that sliding that attack, that special uh, sword and shield slide around, which is good for like repositioning yourself. Very mm. good there. But as I mentioned, they are getting clapped a bit. And then you just got to see a perfect guard. I know, Which right? is... One of the reasons I want to get on this weapon. What do you think about it, Paradise? I was going to say, like like you just said, there's way more... It feels like at least there's way more mobility in the Sword and Shield this time around. You you can really position around the monster as you're doing your attacks. Uh, it, it's gone away now, but you also opened the fight with a luring pod, which was pretty interesting to see. Um, <laughs> you didn't quite <laughs> land that one there, but you, I think yeah. he was trying to hit the... Because I think there's a couple iframes in that back step, or at least they used to be. Yeah. Um, he keeps doing that downwards thrust, which is another really cool move as well, which does like a load of ticks when you when you go down with it. And I'm hoping yeah. that we'll see some clashes in this as well. You actually do get to see a clash later on, but it's not with the actual sword and shield. It's a really cool uh, heavy bowgun clash that we actually get to see. But here you can actually see where he kind of starts to step up his gameplay. And Paradise, you can tell us more about this because you made the one on the uh, mounting video, right? So Exactly. So if you guys have missed already, we have a sort of tutorial series on the channel that we're going to be adding to as time goes on and we've already got mounting because the mounting system's massively changed you now have knife 
strong light and weapon attacks while mounted. And what you can see here is by jumping on the different spots, which for a lot of monsters is two or three spots, on this one it's three, you can do those weapon attacks to build up wounds on the back of the monster on the areas that you jump to. So he's just popped one of the three wounds with the actual finisher because it's now needed to get the mount finisher. But there's still two wounds on his back that he left there from the mount. So mounts are a great... Which? Two, six. What did you... <laughs> that was your thing right there. That was it. That's the first time. That's not even the one that I was like screaming. I'm screaming again because it's exciting, but you can literally see that he went into a focus strike by cancelling it mid-air into that, which is awesome. So he did a, a jumping slash basically off of that and was able to just hold down the L2 button in mid-air and then connect with a wound. If you don't connect with a wound, you won't do anything. You're going to see that a couple of times throughout the video. And you can also see a bit earlier, uh, because there's so much happening right now, that the Perfect Rush is there. I've seen so many people ask about mm. Perfect Rush, uh, but Perfect Rush is still in there. I don't know if you should still have to do, be specific on the timing, but it looks like it from like the kind of pop-ups, the red splashes that you usually get. So you're going to have to like time it in a way that you usually do. Um, but here you get to see him cheesing with the heavy bow gun. We suspected that some <laughs> players might just run around on their heavy bow gun to shoot in monsters to... Uh, <laughs> and we know it has like an end. element of auto aiming to it as well when you're riding. Yeah. Obviously the damage isn't massive, so I don't I don't know how far the cheesing can go, but we'll have to see what other da uh, ammo types are like when you are mounted uh, and doing those attacks. He's using another luring pod here. But yeah, just to double back on what you said, Perfect Rush is in the game. It kind of looks like there is a two or three step to the timing of the input. Um, so yeah, Sword and Shield players rejoice. Perfect Rush is there. Oh, the power clash with the heavy clash. You see him just shooting. It's like <laughs> shooting <laughs> down his freaking mouth, and it's got a wound on his face from that as well. <laughs> and that's that's the focus strike with the heavy bowgun as well. With the yeah. um, was it the sticky ammo or the explosive ammo or something? Uh, it's called uh, Wyvern Howl um, that you can uh. do. But you can go into the special like special energy mode at any time just by pressing the circle and you can just like expend that he's not really doing it as much but obviously if you're used to any of the heavy bow guns in recent games you know that it has that energy bar that you can get into and you can see that the trap does was put down Ooh, and 100 that, that was is, over 100 that was two i think it was two ticks of damage yeah oh we've got if you connect with sticky a wound, ammo. That does even more damage yeah sticky Which, ammo is back so you know the cheese is going to be back bro this was a big thing that i've seen people wonder about because sticky ammo people were wondering is it a limited resource that recharges is it a craftable thing because obviously those sticky builds where you could yeah. craft just infinite of them were insane and it looks like they're a craftable one from what we just saw there he whiffed that move there but that was another really cool move yeah. from the weapon trailer uh i'll just quickly double back to the sns so you can, you can make those up to three, depending on the monster, wounds during a mount. And then obviously doing a jumping slash, he cancelled into Focus Strike to get the uh, the Focus Strike off, which is really cool. It makes you wonder how many other weapons... Oh, is he going to hit it? That was so me. that's actually the Heavy Bowgun's offset attack. And you have to go into the, like, oh. the mode and hold it down. You hold down triangle, and if you connect it, it will do the offset attack. Offset attack being basically an, a counter on the weapon. The uh, Switch Axe has got one, and uh, the Great Sword's got one. There's a couple of other weapons that actually have one um, that you can use. But you can see here, he's gone back to the Sword and Shield, and uh, he's starting to put in the work again. But is there sword any and shield. more wounds left for him to do that? I don't think there is. But Jashagama is that monster that can open up more wounds, so we will when definitely see more in, where in the future. It but looks you see like he's here. exhausted as well, because you can see on the map there's the exhaust icon. Practicing his timings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that uh, you can like cancel into a focus strike midair, and it makes me wonder what other weapons can actually do that. If all weapons, like during anything, could sort of cancel into a focus strike when the wound is present in front of you, I think that would be really cool. Or maybe it's only for certain weapons that kind of have openings to do additional moves because when you do that jumping slash you could go into a shield bash or a uh, like a falling uh, falling slash so again it'll be super interesting when we get more hands-on time and see just the breadth and width of how you can cancel into things because it really mix up a lot of the gameplay yeah supposedly you've seen the ground on fire as well those actually do like tick damages uh, tick damage to the monster i haven't actually seen it tick yet so maybe the fire needs to be a bit more uh, propagated around the environment to, for it to actually do the ticks, but supposedly that is a thing that can actually happen. You can actually get uh, elemental damage on the monsters from environmental damage, which makes sense because 
from world they're introducing these inter uh, environmental traps as well and we've seen a lot of them in the new mm. uh, trailer number four which is interesting but hey we, we can see the spread shots. oh yeah with a new ui as well for the spread shots, yeah. which i actually quite like it to be honest it is quite intrusive it takes up a lot of the screen but it's a, you're shooting a shotgun you're gonna be right in the monster's face anyway you know you know what it is the, um, as well. they, prob they probably say the lightning makes fire Facebook. right yeah the lightning makes fire definitely yeah Oh, has he? He's still got some large dung pods left. He's, I think he's trying to. Is he? Oh, he's trying to group them together. I think to actually pull it off. And Ray Dow could show up because it's the sand tide as well. So you gotta like, yeah. watch out. You don't get invaded. So it's something to note as well because we pointed out in our videos of like features that are new to um, Wilds was the pop up on the left. So the pop up on the left shows you the items in the area. Someone was like. Yeah, this is in world, but in world it was super slow and didn't show you like everything in Dell. It's like mm -hmm. it basically shows you all the things in the area and very quickly updates um, to alert you what is able to be picked up and uh, used against the monsters and these environmental traps. You can even see all the power toads on the map, which is hilarious. There's like three of them. <laughs> yeah, they're all like that. Must be that was a crazy area to fight. I didn't even realize that. Like we've literally hunted in this area, so this is a good spot to fight in if you can. Yeah. You know, you get more used to the game, you're going to know where the environmental traps are, where those toads are, all that kind of stuff. And that just really massively improves, like, the speed of the hunt when you can take advantage of those things. It's interesting how, like, what's going on here. So he's trying to dung pod. He's really going after the alpha, but it's the pack is staying together. We got to see an emo. <laughs> <laughs> The vine trap be returning is pretty cool, and I have to say, I actually like that it's activated with the hook slinger, because if you think of some of the vine traps in world, you have to position yourself and let the monster attack it to break them down. So it's cool that you can just do that with the actual hook slinger. But hopefully we'll see some more SNS gameplay. And 2-6, there was a move that was about like hitting the soft spot in a monster's hide, right? Yeah, so I not too fully like grounded on exactly what it does but it, there is a move that is called the charge slash and supposedly if you hit the uh, monster in a soft spot that's the specific terminology that they use in the actual description in the hunter's notes then it will do more uh tick damage as well so that is interesting he's bro he's getting perfect guards left and right right now he's fighting all yeah. three of them at once he's trying to show off we the haven't perfect seen the guards. clash yet though Oh, that's the move that I love, that, like, plunging for us. I do miss the, the Metsu, though. The Metsu not being Ooh. back is, uh, is, is sad times because that was such a cool move from Rise. It was, it was being able to the, cool through things. the coolest, like, instant ding, right? And then straight into yeah. the jump. There is a wound open on his back, and he and he tried to do the jump He's into the focus strike. He's again. aiming for it. He's going for it. <laughs> He's hit the lower pod to keep it on him. The other ones are just not letting go. <laughs> That's the thing. That is the whole point of Wilds. Them them putting bigger focus on larger packs of monster monsters yeah. and the sort of environment and having to make use of things to split them up. Um, so he has been doing those large dung pods, but maybe not at the right times. So I think if he were to do a large dunk pod now, they would probably scatter. But he might—he yeah. may have run out. He's probably run out and needs to like restock. You can actually restock like after hunts via the like the supply just by going into your menus as well, which is pretty cool. That's really cool. You could step, you could just stay out for ages then. And that combined yeah. with the portable barbecue means you don't have to go back to camp to eat to like do your meal. Yeah. So you probably could restock. Have both. Yeah, restock, eat up, just go hunt the next monster without actually returning. Oh, he's got his dunk. These are dunk pods, I think. He's there done it. There you go. He's, <laughs> he's done, done it. it. <laughs> he's like, uh oh, stinky. Yeah. So that. Yeah. <laughs> so like the move you just talked about with the SNS a minute ago, and I think there were some other moves on other weapons. Then they, the way that the game notes kind of references them is like hitting a monster in like the weak part or the soft part of its of its hide. I'm kind of interpreting that as like you know like the different hit zones that monsters have. So maybe there's, yeah. so obviously there's hit zones where you hit harder. So maybe certain moves, if they're done on certain hit zones, give you like additional or extra uh, effects or damage, which is kind of cool. 
Well, obviously, in Iceborne, they had a like, tenderizing system that uses similar terminology, and maybe it is to do with, like, wounds or the hit zones, as you're saying, but I've seen, like, other stuff as well in terms of, like, the uh, the no Hunter's Note saying, like, fire will, like, more easily, like, get through it as well. Like, monsters like armor and flesh. Mm. But maybe it's, it's just them kind of hyping it up a bit. It's, he's because he's got another mount here, and he's. I guess he has been doing a lot of um, those jumping attacks to build up that mount damage because he did that pretty much instantly on that dismount attack, which is another thing wow. that we pointed out in our mounting guide is that because you have those dismount attacks on all your weapons, you're going to be able to get mounts a lot easier than in a game like well, like obviously in, in Rise you had a lot of methods and you had the Palamute. Um, but in World you had to go for ledges mostly or use weapons that had jumps Ooh. built in. So he just did the perfect rush into the uh, downward dr drag, which is super cool. So it's nice to actually see a complete perfect rush there. That popped if you're, wounds. Yeah, it popped wounds. It popped loads of wounds. So if you're a sword and shield main at the moment, you're basically... This is a very stylish set of combos that we're seeing right now. So I want to see you guys all stunting. I thought the Metsu was pretty uh, flexy in uh, Rise, but now you guys have got some stuff. I know you guys have been uh, feeling a bit left out on <laughs> some of the stuff like... They kind of curse. <laughs> I gotta say, every like the actual gameplay where people that at least like know what they're doing fairly with the sword and shield looks really impressive. So we had Jono play it in our in our stream over in Gamescom, and he was doing the power clashes and the perfect guards and making it look stylish. And then obviously here we've seen some extra techs with the perfect rushes or the jump attacks into focus strikes, which I think. I think that's what we just saw there again. Yeah, um, yeah again. So he's really... Like, oh, the fact that you can do those those like jumping slashes and just cancel into Ogre Strike is properly nuts. Lots of, I like, think that's like really... <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing that's really powerful about the Sword and Shield as well is that obviously it gets access to the perfect guard as well. So you can just counter basically any time. And there is a follow-up slash if you do per perfect guard as mm. well. So you can actually just counter slash right out of the perfect guard. I don't, I haven't actually seen anyone. He's do not it. done it in this yet, no. So, um, but we know Sword and Shield is actually capable of having like a counter yeah. and perfect guard after that, which is pretty. Darn so cool. if you think about the, um, there's like a, a guard point or a perfect guard on the charge blade that you can basically press triangle and go into power axe mode with. I think it's the same input with triangle and Sword and Shield, but it, yeah, it does that like counter thrust. But we haven't actually seen it here. But what's interesting is, like you say, so you got you go and do power clashes with Sword and Shield with your perfect guards on certain attacks. Um, you've got the jumps and the focus strikes, but you don't have an offset attack. But we have obviously seen him switch to the heavy bow gun and do that that charged offset attack. Although he hasn't managed to land it in this one yet, unfortunately. Make it up for the uh, the failed sleep wake up <laughs> <laughs> with a big bomb right next to the big pee on the ground as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so cool that you can throw them now. I will say though, I'm not sure how, like, do you want to do a wake up with a throw because you might be able to do a big meaty chop with a great sword or a, yeah. uh, an AED with a charge blade or something. So you might not want to actually throw them for a wake up, but it's still a very nice feature as well to do. But if there's any place in the... Oh, nice. Uh, there he is. He just did the counter. He, he, he just he did, did it he did, and then did. immediately got clumped and punished. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you need to wait for a proper window to do that where you can actually um, do some spice with it. So you can see here he's going for the focus slash again. This is the part that I was screaming at because he does the other one where you get the falling uh, oh, falling bash off of it and it just looks so much better. It's like... No oh, way. Wait, wait. So, so you cool. jump. Cancel into Focus Strike. Focus Strike throws you back in the air a second time, and then you can do a Shield Bash on the way down. Yeah. That's nuts. That's just love style it, love points. It. And that's not even included. So theoretically, you could start with Perfect Rush into the finishing jump, into Cancel Focus Strike, into Jump Shield Bash. Which is uh, pretty cool. It'll be nice to see someone do it on the head of the monster as well. Like, if you have a wound on the head of the monster, you do it, then you might even get the KO uh, at the same time for a full 100% triple S There's gonna be points. There's going to be clips, like, for sure, when <laughs> they get their hands on it. That, that would just be nuts to see. Oh, I thought he was going to get a perfect guard then, because it's so He's going for it. He doesn't have the timing down. And uh, that's going to be one of the big things, is getting used to the timing on the perfect guards for each of the weapons that are in Wilds. And mm. how they compete with like the weapons that generally just have normal counters, like the uh, longsword or um, the charge blade that has like inbuilt guard points. But even the 
Oh, he um, tried it. The gun lance has uh, guard points now as well, right? Yeah, the gun lance actually has uh, built-in guard, almost like, I don't know if they are technically guard points, but they are effectively functioning as guard points in the reload. Yeah. He's really trying to get this offset attack with the heavy bow gun, but that Dashagama is not playing ball. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get he's it. He's to... gonna get it. He's gonna get it. We must see it. Here it is. Yo! Oh, oh, it's from a sick when it does go. it and it knocks the monster back. That is really cool. Oh, oh the heavy bow gun. Nice, it's looking nice. nice as a secondary because it gives you ranged, it gives you different ammo types, yeah. you've got sticky for KOs, you've got the offset attack. That is looking that is yeah. looking pretty spicy. I quite So you I, can I... see here that you can actually climb on the monster and carve, and you can end the quest as well. And something else dialing back to the heavy bow gun is that they've increased the range of it, so you're going to be able to snipe with it while they've made the range of the actual light bow guns a lot closer as well. So they're kind of differentiating between both of those range weapons a bit more, especially with the bow uh, and this crazy um, trick arrow and trick gauge. So it was a little bit of, obviously it was in Japanese here, but we had the end games be like end hunt screen. And like in the English one in a multiplayer hunt, you get like, a, there's, there's different like accolades now. I think there's even more ones than in previous games. So you can see who, you know, did certain things like inflicting the most statuses and, and stuff like that. And I think he may have done it there as well because he very quickly like zoomed through those end of hunt screens because you can like sort of skip them to just go straight back into the world and yeah. hunt the next thing. So he's, I'm guessing this is the Chattacabra hunt next. Instant part break on the dismount attack. <laughs> he's got buff damage, what's going on? <laughs> or maybe, maybe the Chattacabra previously took damage because we know that um, damage between monsters actually persists out in the world, if that monster's taken damage somewhere else, it will still retain that damage, which is pretty cool. They kind of really simulate that ecosystem. But here, ooh, he tried it, he's going for it. That he's hit, going that. For it. oh, and there's the KO with this. <laughs> if he hit yeah. that falling bash, he would have KO'd it, which is the, yeah. <laughs> it was so close. I think the D the Dashagama did actually attack the Chedacabra earlier in this hunt, so that would have been the, the, ah, okay. the damage that you talk about sort of um, being persistent. So when you're so, uh, on the wound as well, you don't need to necessarily just instantly go into the uh, falling bash or the, um, the the slash as well, the jumping slash. So you can kind of hang on there for like a little bit while you decide what you want to actually do. Yeah, wounds are going to be a really interesting thing to experiment with because they give you that increased damage when you're just attacking the point. So yeah. it's not an immediately clear if you just want to go straight into a focus strike when it's it's giving you a massive damage increase. But if you attack it for too long, it will just pop the wound on its own, right? So you need yeah. to almost time it and learn how long wounds last on each monster to sort of optimize the damage. But 2-6, as you found out with the longsword, some focus strikes give resources back. And that then yeah, so... begs the question, do you want to keep it for the damage or go straight into like level three spirit gauge? Yeah, not every weapon gives like resources. I think it's the insect glaive and the uh, longsword basically give you resources. I don't know if there's any other uh, The charge blade them. gives you power axe mode. Oh yeah, it gives um, you power axe mode. So there isn't that many weapons that give you like resources. But in multiplayer hunts, people might get a bit vexed if you're taking all the wounds while they're not <laughs> <laughs> being able to get all their stuff off. So That is the that. thing, because like it's so fun to pull them off with any weapon. So do you have to be that more, you have to be the mature hunter and say, all right, long sword or insect glaive, well, you can have them. I'll just, I won't, I won't do my flashy move this time since you get something for doing them. He is just, this, this guy's just He's getting just bullied. Chattacar like. <laughs> <laughs> was getting ruined. That was so quick. GG. That was super quick. I have to say. The Chattacara is actually really fun to fight once you kind of get it down a little bit. It's a really good punching bag to learn and like experiment on. So that that was really cool to see. Is there is there any more to this? I don't, know. The I don't know if there's any more. But that's the end screen. But you can see he quickly ended the quest there. He only, it only took him three minutes to actually defeat that monster. And do that, it was super quick. Oh, he's at the training, the training, the training uh, dummy. barrel. Testing some true charge slashing. Oh yeah, you can see there. Oh. 180 degree true charge slash. People were disappointed with the greatsword, but you could never do that before. And I'm gonna tell like it's fair to say people often miss their true charge slash. You see it all the time in online hunts. So if you can 180 degree turn, there's not as there's not as much excuse anymore to miss that big meaty chop. That's your biggest hit, you know. 
He's going for everything. Everyone's getting a little a show now. <laughs> I do. I definitely do want to like try to lance a lot more. It's definitely got a lot more like counter capability. Like it had crazy counters before, but now it's even got even more counters, especially with like um, mid combo counters as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's with the luring pods being in the game, the lance is definitely going to be a lot stronger in my opinion because I think. One of the sad things about Lance previously is you've got this amazing tanky set, you're a Lance player, you're ready to counter and tank, but if the monster's not aggroed on you, you're just like poking it in the back. Whereas you want to be in its face, tanking those hits, hitting those counters. So with the lure pod, I think Lance mains are going to be a bit yeah. more respected, shall we say, when they're tanking for their team. I don't think they're ever, ever going to get rid of the, the run anymore as well. The run is so iconic to the Lance that <laughs> they're going to have to obviously bring it back. What I want to see is like mounted Lance gameplay. I want to see like if it gets any benefits from being like mounted. Oh, this is a really good example of, of using the focus mode with the Insect Glaive and, and seeing it sort of do the assist Kinsect attacks. So it's unknown if assist Kinsects are back because... It looks like any Kinsect can assist now when you hold down L2 for focus mode and do attacks. And it's a great way to gain essence because it's basically going to attack with you and then come back and give you the essence like almost automatically while you do it. So it's a, it's a big streamlined focus for the Insect Blade. But... Oh, definitely. It, it will be interesting to see how many different Insect types we actually get in total as well because we know that it can even split into three, right? And collect all three essences mm -hmm. at once now doing those super moves. And the spinny spiral slash, if anybody can actually get, get all three in one go, that will be cool. Yeah, the rising spiral slash looks amazing. And it does, and it does basically refund them. So uh, there we go. That was uh, V Jump over on YouTube, Japanese channel. There's a lot, it's loads of stuff loads coming out from TGS. <laughs> so it's going to be really interesting to see like, you know, as more things come out, what different weapons or little tricks there are. And I think as well, because we got to play at like Gamescom and other people in the US have had their sessions, there's a bit more information out there. So people kind of know some of the things that weapons can do. So now we're starting to see them implemented rather than being discovered, which is pretty cool to see, right? Yeah, definitely. I think that's an important part is like, we actually get to see some people play the weapons the way that they were intended. And it's uh, very cool. Very cool. Definitely. So guys, make sure you drop a like below if you enjoyed the video. It was a little SNS and heavy bowgun showcase for you. We're gonna have even more Monster Hunter coming for you very soon. And if you guys are watching today, we're gonna have a stream tomorrow, which may already be premiered on the channel by the time you're watching this. It'll be very early UK time, but it will adjust to your own time zone when you check it. So join us if you want to see the Scarlet Forest and some extra gameplay live. Otherwise, make sure you're subscribed for more videos on Monster Hunter and your favorite games coming very, very soon. Bye-bye.